So we're here at a brand new studio, guys. It literally just moved into. Can you talk a little about taking us back to Los Angeles and how North Carolina became a destination for Insomniac? Right, well, you know, at Insomniac, we have our own engine technology, and we had a lot of opportunity to make games that we wanted to make. But at the same time, we didn't want to grow the studio in Burbank past the, the current size because it's kind of in a magic number where everybody stays connected with the games and knows what's going on and has a chance to make a creative contribution. So it made a lot of sense for us to open up another studio. And when we started talking about locations, we settled on the Triangle in North Carolina because it's on the East Coast, almost exactly opposite of our Burbank office. And it just kind of gave us an alternative for really talented people who wanted to live on the East Coast. And when it comes to the makeup here, talk about how many people you have and where they've come from. Sure, we've got about 38 people now and they've come from all over. Um, probably about 25% of that number came out from our studio in Burbank. So we had a really experienced core team to start with. Then we hire talented people from, from this area, from all up and down the East Coast, and even internationally. And when it comes to this studio, can you run through some of the games you guys have made? You've been here for four years now. Yeah, that's right. We started out um, making and releasing Ratchet & Clank All for One, and that came out just a year ago. And our upcoming title that we're about to release is called Ratchet & Clank Full Frontal Assault. When it comes to uh, this studio, is Ratchet kind of the focal point when it comes to you guys doing this versus Resistance and other games coming out of Los Angeles? Right. Well, I mean, we've definitely been the Ratchet and Clank team so far, but, uh, you know, team members here have worked on uh, all Insomniac games, both Resistance and Ratchet. So, um, you know, who knows what we're going to tackle in the future, but we, we do have a really versatile group here who's capable of doing a lot of different things. And when it comes to working with, you, you guys are still connected to the Burbank studio. Can you talk about how you guys work back and forth between the two? Yeah, um, we work with the Burbank Studio by sharing engine technology. Um, also, we have quite a few shared people, just people who we can call up who've been through everything that's involved with making and shipping a game. And, uh, I mean, the two studios still integrate really well. We're still all one company. And probably one of the nicest things that's come out of it is that we have a, a captive group of play testers. So whenever we want to try out a new feature with the game, we have built-in people to go to to test out what we're working on. Because normally when you think of a AAA game, you, you hear numbers in the sometimes hundreds, 200, even 300 people working on the Resident Evil 6. You guys had 30 people working on a AAA game. How do you guys streamline the process? Well, um, it's a combination of really using an engine uh, tech group that is very well established. So we, we have a lot of the basics worked out. Um, also, we're able to pull that off with slightly longer production cycles. Uh, you know, Ratchet & Clank Offer 1 was a three-year development. So, um, you know, instead of having a massive group and then making a lot of decisions on the fly and then kind of living with the consequences, we really had time to stretch things out and um, make decisions, test them, see that things were working, and then kind of get things in in a very deliberate way.